Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Sweet that Born to Three Gym, and welcome to how I would book Roman Reigns and WrestleMania. Now, I'm gonna try so hard to book this right. So, how would I would book Roman Reigns? That's what I'm gonna start off with between now to WrestleMania. Oh, but this is before Fastlane, so, um, basically, Roman Reigns is hated by the, ma the majority of the WWE fans, and honestly, I honestly can cannot see him go to WrestleMania and fight Triple H as a babyface and being booed for the second year in a row at WrestleMania. For the WWE Championship, I cannot see that. You know what? What a uh, babyface wins at WrestleMania, it's supposed to get that huge, like loud reaction, like Daniel Bryan did last year, like Seth Rollins did last uh, last year. Daniel Bryan did two years ago. You know, um, Cena barely got a reaction three years ago. Fucking R The Rock got a huge reaction four years ago. At um, I believe it was four years ago, 2012. So like yeah, I honestly think that um, Roman Reigns going to WrestleMania as a face is a bad idea. So how would I would book it? Well, kind of easy though. It's like this: we start to we start at Fastlane since we're going since our, we are at fa Fastlane tomorrow and WrestleMania is like five weeks. So I would start basically Roman Reigns. Well, you see, normally I would have been like, ah, fuck it, Demon Ambrose wins, regardless of what Roman Reigns ha what happens to Roman Reigns, just fuck it. But I think Roman Reigns should turn heel. I know that's what everyone else is saying, but I'm gonna, I, I'm not, I might be the same as everyone else, but I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try to be different. But look, Roman Reigns should go to Fastlane and just be like, yeah, he's a baby face, but he's being booed, obviously, and then um, he teams up with Ambrose against Brock. Shit like that, but Brock Lesnar does not get taken away by the Wyatt family. Brock Lesnar gets put through a table by both Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose, and Brock Lesnar is gone. And like he's not gone, but he's he's there, like still like being attended by the ringside doctors and shit. But anyways, it comes down to Ambrose and Reigns going at it one on one, and. When Roman Reigns is like be in control, the fans are booing him. Roman Reigns, right? So, ro what does Roman Reigns do? Some, you know, Roman Reigns kind of teases a little bit. He kind of like, he kind of like flips off the fan a little, the fans a little bit. Like he doesn't like use do the middle finger, but he does like you know screw like yeah, uh, like like uh, like forget this, like screw you guys type of reaction to the fans, right? While he's still in control. So that'll, that'll give the fans to be like, what the fuck he just do? He just like, fuck you guys. Like, forget this. Like, you know? Shit like that. G give him a little tease. Like, tease a little bit, you know? And then, when uh, when it comes down to it, uh, it, he doesn't really turn heel in the match itself. He just does heel tactics a little bit. He doesn't do the... But well, he does not do the obvious heel things, you know, put his foot on the ropes and shit. No, he doesn't do that. Obviously, he does some heel shit, like, you know. He does a, a, at least a low blow on Dean Ambrose once in the match. Once. And then Triple H comes out, distracts Roman. He gives Roman Reigns the, the you know, the approval, you know, the signal. Right? And then Roman Reigns just, just attacks on Dean Ambrose. And then Brock did what he Brock does uh, what he did at the Royal Rumble last year when Seth Rollins put it through a table. He comes back out of nowhere and just starts German suplexing people. Right, he does that shit. And when he does that, uh, Roman Reigns when he got suplexed onto the outside later on in the match, he comes back winning. With, he comes back in with a chair, you know, hit him in the gut, then hit shot to the back, that type of shit. And then. Um, he goes after Dean Ambrose, and the fans freaking boos the fuck out of him. It's like the it's like the fans are like like you know the um, the fans who likes Rain. They're like, what the fuck, Reigns? What are you doing? Don't use the chair. Beat him up right with your hands. Don't do that. Reigns is like, fuck that, and he beats up 
both uh, Ambrose and Dean Ambrose with chairs. And um, he goes for the cover on Brock. Brock obviously kicks out. He goes for the cover on Dean Ambrose. Obviously, he kicks out. The Reigns is like running out of options. So obviously, uh, Reigns is looking to do a spear. Right? Look at both men are getting up, and Reigns is at the position where he can choose either Ambrose or Brock Lesnar. And then to show what will happen, to show um, the fight that Roman Reigns gave Brock Lesnar last year. So Roman Reigns spears Dean Ambrose, but Brock hits the F5 on, on Roman. Then Roman Reigns kicked out. Right? Just like how Roman Reigns kicked out the F5 last year. Roman Reigns kicks out the F5. Roman Reigns hit a Superman holes on him. On Brock. Brock's stirring. He hits it again. He's still stirring. The second he turns around, he suffers a spear. Dean Ambrose gets up. Hit a dirty deeds on Roman. And then, I don't know. He, when, when, Roman, when Dean Ambrose hit the dirty deeds on Roman, he's like, he's like, you piece of trash. They keep talking shit to Roman. But like in a, in a way, like, why the hell did you turn your back on me shit type of thing? You know, like, what the hell did you do that for me? Why did you hit me with a chair, bro? And after he, he covers Dean, he Dean covers Roman. And, and obviously, and Roman Reigns kicked out, right? This match goes back and forth, back and forth. I don't want to use this, but he had a wife and family have to get, his, get involved. So not Bray, not Braun Strowman, obviously, Bray Wyatt himself. Like they, they hit the thing on the screen and they black out and the lights come back on. And then Brock Lesnar staying face to face. No, Brock Lesnar is being... Well, like you know that thing where this where all wife families are in four all four corners yeah that type of thing and then they beat up on Brock and then Bray Wyatt does a sister Abigail and then they did the thing with what they did to Taker and Kane and carry out Brock onto the uh, like away from the ring you're probably thinking yeah that's fucking whack but still it's the only way to get Brock out of there because seriously I mean, come on, just uh, hitting a sister Abigail and Brock is going to take him out? No, that's not going to do that. They got to literally bring Brock Lesnar out of the arena, bring him to the back. Like they did the Undertaker and Kane. So, it's all down. it comes down to Roman Reigns and uh, Triple H. Triple H is angry that Dean Ambrose will not stay down. So, he goes to the ring. He gets in the apron. Roman Reigns, you know, he's, good, he's talking shit to Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose walking forward to Triple H. And after... Uh, Dean Ambrose realized Ro Roman Reigns is about to hit him with a spear, so Roman Reigns comes from uh, Roman Reigns tried to go for the spear, but he got Triple H, and Dean Ambrose finally hits that dirty deeds where the chair was there perfectly. So Dean Ambrose hits the dirty deeds on the Roman Reigns on the chair, and Dean Ambrose wins that triple threat match. Meaning Dean Ambrose is going to WrestleMania. The whole crowd will erupt, and that will be a great way to end. Fastlane, what they try to make a great pay per view between the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania. Now we're going to talk about had Roman Reigns going to wrestle. Alright, so Dean Ambrose comes out on Monday Night Raw. Dean Ambrose is like, Yep, your boy's going to WrestleMania, but I got to talk to a, a certain someone who I, that I used to call my brother. Roman Reigns. He calls out Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns comes out. The fans boo the fuck. The fuck out of Roman Reigns. That's when Roman Reigns turn heel. That's where it begins. So, Roman Reigns is coming, making his way out. He goes face to face with Dean. Dean Ambrose asks him, What the hell? What happened? Why? Why did you? Why did I saw the. He, Dean Ambrose is like, I saw the footage from last night. Triple H gives you the heads up and you attack me. Beat me up with a chair viciously. I get it. WWE Championship, well, number one contender spot was on the line, but it wasn't that serious, bro. And then Roman Reigns is like, I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of people wanting me to do the right thing, okay? I'm sick and tired of being booed by these fools out here in the crowd. The fans blew the fuck out of range for that. I'm Roman Reigns saying, I'm sick and tired of... Oh, like, seriously. I promised my daughter I was going to WrestleMania. I was going to win at that match at Fastlane. Go to WrestleMania and win the WWE Championship and keep the title for good. But guess what? That didn't happen thanks to you, Dean. Dean Ambrose is like, it's not my fault that I won the match. 
and it's not my fault that you couldn't get the job done last night. I won the match. I'm facing Triple H at WrestleMania. Sucks for you. They're being straight up, like, they're just being straight up with each other, right? Roman Reigns is basically saying, I'm sick and tired of this crap. I've been screwed since, ever since at the Royal Rumble. The fans blew the crap out of me. My own blood, The Rock, came out. And nothing. I ain't get no reaction for it. People are complaining that I got help from The Rock from winning the Royal Rumble. I won the Rumble on my own. Then after I have to earn my way to WrestleMania by beating Daniel Bryan, that bushy beard that luckily retired. Because if he didn't retire, I would have put him out for good. You know, heel, heel shit. That's what he's basically saying, right? Roman Reigns is basically saying, like, then, then I go to WrestleMania and Seth Rollins, that punk. Had to go cash in the money in the bank at my ex at my expense. Why couldn't he do that at the Royal Rumble? Why couldn't he do that anytime Brock Lesnar was on Raw? Yeah, he did it when I was fighting for the WWE Championship. And then I go to Payback. I don't win. It, it, the match was a triple threat match. Then you inserted yourself into the Fatal Four Way match, the, in, to, into the championship match, into the championship picture by making it a Fatal Four Way. And then I went to Money in the Bank. I got screwed by Bray Wyatt. I was, my hands was on the damn briefcase. And then Bray Wyatt screwed me over. Then I had to deal with Bray Wyatt for months. Then I finally put him away at, at Hell in the Cell. I fought a, fa I fought a fatal forward match. I had to earn my way again to get a championship match. And guess what? That coward Seth Rollins got himself injured on purpose to not fight me at Survivor Series. And then I go to Survivor Series after winning that tournament. I finally win the championship. And all because I did not shake Triple H's hand. That Sheamus come out of nowhere and bro kick me and win the match. I don't understand that. Where the hell did that come from? And then I go to TLC. Freaking nobody does nothing. Nobody says nothing about uh, Sheamus bringing his friends, his cronies, those punks of the League of Nations interfering in my match for the WWE Championship. And Sheamus cannot win the match on his own. And then how, how did they expect me to react when I beat the crap out of Sheamus and Triple H that night? And then I finally won the title the next night. I almost, I almost got screwed by the old the old boss, the old man, Vince McMahon, the night after TLC. But I still won the championship. Then I go to I go to the Royal Rumble. I have to defend my title in in a in a Royal Rumble match. Why didn't anyone else who screwed Mr. McMahon? Uh, had to defend their title in the Royal Rumble match. I don't understand that. Yeah, I'm the only one that had to do that. And then, cheat, then the authority cheated the system by making Triple H become them became the the number thirty entrant and come in and win the Royal Rumble, eliminating me. And then you and Triple H were the final two. And you didn't win. You Triple H won that match. You couldn't get the job done that night. And then now. I had to go to Fastlane to fight against you and Brock for a for a number one contendership match at WrestleMania, which I shouldn't have to be in because I already have a title rematch in my contract. What logic does that even make? What what sense does that make? I don't understand this. So yeah, they, Roman Reigns saying all that shit. I know that was a long ass promo. I I know. Uh, that, that sounded good, but seriously, uh, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Triple H comes out. Well, Roman, you did not get the job done. I expected you to get the job done, but you didn't get the job done. Dean Ambrose, I have to fight. That lunatic is going to challenge for my championship. Well, and then, yeah, that's how Roman Reigns had got that heel heat, and that's how Roman Reigns turned heel. And then, yeah, Roman Reigns does the heels things against Dean Ambrose. Whenever Dean Ambrose, Dean Ambrose is in the match, he attacks Dean Ambrose before, during, or after the match. Or he screws Dean Ambrose in any match, in almost any match he's in. From Raw and, Raw and SmackDown. You know? You go to WrestleMania. Triple H, uh, well, basically told Roman Reigns, attack Dean Ambrose before their match comes in the main event. So the beginning of the show or the pre-show, whatever they do it, uh, just before the uh, the third hour, uh, Roman Reigns attacks Dean Ambrose at, at at backstage. He attacks Dean Ambrose backstage out of frustration, out of jealousy. 
because Dean Ambrose is going to WrestleMania to fight the game in the main event of WrestleMania instead of Roman Reigns. So, uh, that happens. Dean Ambrose does the Daniel Bryan thing. He doesn't do all the Daniel Bryan stuff, you know, going on the freaking gurney and then he fights his way in, shaking his hand and stuff. Shit, like, you know, goes back in the ring and then, you know, fights with an injured whatever. And then after he <laughs> wins the match out for 30 deeds, you know, not like, like, not like that, but like, like the Roman Reigns just does everything he could to take out Dean. Dean Ambrose is still fighting. He comes out with the thing on his arm. Yeah, it, it, that's kind of like Daniel Bryan, I'm just saying, right? And then after um, Dean Ambrose fights through the whole match, the entire, well, I, I believe I'll, I'll make it like 25 minutes or 20 minute match, right? He fights through the entire thing. And and Dean Ambrose is doing everything. He can, and then Triple H is doing everything he could to screw at Dean Ambrose. At WrestleMania, so what? Do you, what does uh, Triple H do? Triple H during the match, he's like, "This is a no disqualification match." So he takes up the sledgehammer. Ugh, you didn't think that was gonna be in this video, did you? You're wrong. So he took up the sledgehammer. Dean Ambrose got the sledgehammer. Uses the gang shift against Triple H. Roman Reigns walks down the aisle. Dean Ambrose sees Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is distracting Dean Ambrose. Triple H had to roll him up, had the the the, the jeans, and uh, Triple and Dean Ambrose kicks out. Roman Reigns got this got inside the ring, goes for a Superman punch. Dean Ambrose ducks it, and Triple H got hit with a Superman punch. And then um, uh, Dean Ambrose hits a dirty no. Dean Ambrose uses the sledgehammer on Roman Reigns. It hits a dirty deeds onto Triple H. So that is how. And then Dean Ambrose wins the match. That's how I would book Roman Reigns' his heel turn. Try to fight. It's all about Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. It's not really about Triple H. Triple H is in the in this is on the sidelines. You know, he's just chilling watching this go through. Dean Ambrose Like, you know, wins the triple threat match at Fastlane, go to WrestleMania, and uh Roman Reigns Roman Reigns is jealous that Dean Ambrose won. So he's like, screw it. You know? He tried to screw Dean Ambrose in any shape or form and he could not get the job done. That's how I'll book for Roman Reigns and like how he would be a heel. I mean, that's like one month, okay? That's all I can do for one month. <laughs> if you th you're expecting more from me, I mean, what? I don't want to. I don't want him to do so much heelish thing, cause then they'll run out of ideas, and then after you know all that shit. So like, basically, he screws Dean Ambrose on Raw and SmackDown, and so many times you have no idea. You know, it cuts promos about Dean, he talks trash about Dean, and after when Dean comes out to school for a fight, he runs away. Obviously, he does the cowardly heel shit sometimes, but he, he does, you know, he's aggressive most of the time. So, yeah, that's how I book Roman Reigns being heel. Now, let's get on to the next part. How I would book WrestleMania. Well, I would book WrestleMania in a way, like, I would book them. Alright, so now, how I would book WrestleMania card? Well, it's simple. Uh, let's see the pre-show one hour we have one hour of uh, you know the the analysis on how like how everything came about to until this point at WrestleMania right that's one out the second hour obviously it's um the uh, you know they have the, the I would say they'll have matches right first of all they do the entree to giant memorial by the royal in the half hour of that second hour and then the other half hour they do a whoa fit let's see I would say a I I honestly do not know. I mean I want the Divas match to be on the WrestleMania show card. I want every title on this on the show. So I, I wanna I don't want to say a pointless match but a rivalry that has been going on. Maybe like a faction versus faction type of thing. If this Kane, Big Show, and Ryback against the Y Family shit keep going, have that match in the pre-show. I don't fucking care. If it keeps going to WrestleMania, have that in the pre-show. I don't care. But um, okay, that's it for the pre-show. <laughs> that's it for the pre-show. I want every title on the on the normal show. So here we go. The normal show. Okay. So we begin the show. With uh, I'm gonna take this idea from uh, a YouTuber called JD from New York 206. I'm gonna take this idea. Uh, Kalisto versus Neville for the United States Championship. I believe I think that is a great idea. 
Think about it. Two high flyers starting the show. To start it off very good. That the fans will be energetic. The, the energy of the crowd will be rising. In a way that like. That if people could be excited for the rest of the show. You know. So they started off right. They started off. And they start. And they end off in a high note. Um. I don't want. I would say Kalisto retained the title. I don't want to say never wins the title yet because, well, we just went through the Del Rio bullshit, and <laughs> it's like after two months he loses the title. Really? I don't want. Not. Not yet. Not yet. So that's it. Uh, that goes about 20 minutes at least. Uh, the next match would be a the a tag team match. If this happens between. Now to WrestleMania, if this happens, the match would be a normal two-on-two -two tag team match, or maybe I don't know a stipulation match. You guys can tell me in the comments below what stipulation do you want, what type of stipulation match do you want for this tag team? It will be Enzo and Big Cass against New Day. I'll let you guys decide on what tag team, like what tag team title match do you want? Do you want it to be a like a ladder, tables? Uh, extreme or like false count anywhere tornado tag steel cage I don't know WrestleMania match you you, th you let you think about that right I would say Enzo big cast win because the whole crowd would be going crazy if the NXT boys wins the match if the New Day wins yeah it'd be great but the fans would be like eh, why why but but the whole arena the whole arena would go crazy for the and for Enzo and Big Cass, they would go crazy. And it, could you imagine the sight if if they um come out uh, to the arena at WrestleMania and they do and they do that whole entrance thing? My name is Enzo Amore. Can you imagine the roar he they would get for that? Think about that for a sec. So yeah, they win the match. That match goes about 20 minutes at least. The next match would be. Uh, it would have to be I don't know, a grudge match, a not on not a title not on the line type of match. It would have to be I honestly don't know. I don't know. I don't want it to be a Divas match. I'm very bad at this right now, but I'll get all right, fuck it. I'm gonna go with this match. Um the Intercontinental Championship will be on the line. Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles. Versus Y2J Chris Jericho in a triple threat match. Done. And who will win? Uh, it'll be cool if AJ Styles won, but some people might disagree with that. I don't know why they will disagree, but they will disagree. I don't know. I, I this is how I would book, so I would go with AJ Styles winning the match. AJ Styles wins the Intercontinental Championship because Chris Jericho is gonna leave, and unless I mean Kevin Owens. He, he can get it back anytime, so yeah, right. And we're gonna have that awesome feud between Owens and AJ for the next uh, couple of weeks, or maybe at least a couple of months. So that'll be great. Um, that goes about 20 25 minutes. The next match would have to be The Undertaker versus Fuck it, John Cena. I don't care. I don't fucking care. He's coming back <laughs> before WrestleMania. John Cena goes up against The Undertaker. And I would love to say The Undertaker comes out. Biker outfit, you know. 2003 type of Undertaker, but nah. I don't think so. I would have to say The Undertaker just comes out normal with the, you know, Dead Man gimmick since, you know, they're in the arena this time. So, like. So like uh, all the, the the lights and the purple smoke and all that shit, you know, yeah, all the good shit Taker does, yeah, all that, right? He comes out, John Cena comes out, he gets booed out of the fucking building. He doesn't get booed. He gets like seventy, he gets sixty percent boos, but forty percent cheers. There you go, split, right? And then yeah, they go back and forth. There'll be fans chanting, let's go Cena, let's go Taker, let's go Cena, like that, that type of shit. So that happens. Uh, they don't even need to do high spots, but Cena makes Taker look like a million, a billion fucking dollars, okay? Cena looks, Cena makes Undertaker look like he can still go 
for the next five, ten years, okay? And, well, yeah, and then Cena goes for the AA. People think you will win, but Taker kicks out. And then when Cena's like, well, so we're shocked. We're looking to set up for the AA. Taker sits up. Look at Cena. Cena's in shock. And Taker does his comeback. You know, the, the snake eyes, the big boot, the leg drop, and then the choke slam. Taker goes for a tombstone, but Cena does the tombstone to get that heat. He does the tombstone. And Taker kicks out of his own move, obviously. If he lost to his own move, that's, that deserves a heel turn. I don't care what anyone says. But, uh, yeah, he hits, a, he hits a tombstone. Taker kicks out. Taker hits the attitude adjuster. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun with this shit. See, Taker hits the attitude adjuster on Cena, but then he doesn't. He doesn't end it there. He goes for the tombstone. Um, fuck it. This needs to happen. I'm tired of people saying, "Oh, oh he never tapped out." What's well, gonna happen? Uh, he goes for the tombstone. He doesn't finish it there either. He goes for the Hell's Gate on John Cena. This is the ending of the match. He goes for the Hell's Gate. And he makes John Cena, the never give up, makes him tap out. I don't care what anyone says. That gimmick does, is not believable because he had tap out. To Kurt Angle, who they still acknowledge in WWE, and Chris Benoit, who I don't know that guy. So yeah, Taker wins with a, with a tap out to Cena. Like, make, make Cena tap out with a submission hold, I meant to say. Yeah, that's how um, I would book that match. And our match will go about 30 minutes, 35 minutes tops. Um, then we go to uh, Roman Reigns makes a promo. Then The Rock comes out. It's like, what the hell's going on, bro? Like, why, why are you talking? Like, what happened? What happened to the guy? About what happened to Roman Reigns last year? What happened to him? Roman Reigns talking to The Rock, saying, "Cause of you, fans hate me more than they already do," and shit like that. Blah 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 have altercation but the rock you know overcomes that all that bobo all that good shit um i'm really bad at this shit <laughs> but then the main the main the main event okay the main event is dean ambrose triple h there's no other match that i want oh sorry i forgot about this the divas the divas match sasha charlotte becky done I don't need a fucking build. I don't need really. I don't really. I'll give. I'll let Sasha win just so that crowd will go nuts, nuts for Sasha. I'm telling you, if she wins, the whole crowd will go crazy. So yeah, uh, Sasha Banks wins that triple threat Divas match. That good match goes about 25 to 30 minutes to give the fans everything that the Divas should have for all the, for the long time, but they don't get they don't get the match that they deserve. So yeah, and. Um, now we get to the main event because I don't think there's any other match that I, that I can talk about right now. So, main event, Dean Ambrose, Triple H. Dean Ambrose beats the crap out of Triple H. It's fucking hilarious. Like, I, I already explained. Actually, no, I don't need to explain this. We already I already talked about that early. What am I saying? We, we already explained how Dean Ambrose will win. You know, Roman Reigns coming back out, trying to get at Dean. Uh, he, hits, he hits Roman Reigns with a sledgehammer. Triple H try to roll him up, up with, with the jeans, and then Triple H, uh, Dean Ambrose kicks out. Roman Reigns hit a Superman punch on Triple H, and Triple H got knocked down. And then he, yeah, no, I, I'm fucking up right now. Roman Reigns comes out. Triple H try to roll up on Dean. Dean kicks out, and then uh, Roman Reigns should hit the Superman punch on Dean Ambrose, but Dean Ambrose ducks and got hit. Triple H got hit with a Superman punch. And then Dean Ambrose hits triple hits um, uh, Dean Roman Reigns with the sledgehammer that Triple H took out earlier in the match when he made a no disqualification. And then um, Dean Ambrose would hit dirty deeds on Triple H and win the match. And we get that WrestleMania pop, sell it like the balloons, streamers, all that shit. The whole fans chant for Ambrose. Everything goes about. Ambrose deserves it. All that shit. And that's how I would book WrestleMania 32. I know that was horrible. Don't. Don't leave me bad things in the comments because I will delete them. I'm just saying, like, seriously, I, I've tried, tried, tried booking a four-hour show. I understand how WWE uh, goes about with all the good guys are gone, basically. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's how I'll book WrestleMania 32. 
And uh, just to add a little thing, maybe Dina, maybe Seth Rollins comes out. Who knows if Seth Rollins is ready. But that's all book rest with you guys. Hit the like button, subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this. And I'll uh, see you guys next time. I know this is bad. Leave me alone. I'm out.